I think that you hit on it when you talked about, when you used the term contemplative. And this was something that I did not understand for years and years. I've been a writer for 25 years, and it was always a big mystery to me. I was a fiction writer about where did this stuff come from, you know, and I've known a lot of writers over the years, and, and it, they always get kind of goofy when you ask them that question. But I knew it came from a part of me that I had to actually be away from other people and alone and quiet to access. You know, there's a there's part of the mind that this stuff comes from, and it isn't just that you sit around and think about it. You have to actually go down like you're going into a, a vertical shaft and drop down deep and spend time there. And it isn't uh, always pleasant down there. Sometimes it's upsetting or sometimes it's frightening what you see, but that's what writers do. They, they, they bring stuff up to the surface and, and they offer it to people who don't have that kind of reflecting time. And there's some kind of resonating there that, that the audience gets if it's, if it's the real stuff. They, they feel that because it's, it's universal to all of us. We all have that deep part of us. But normally life doesn't allow us to take the time and the solitude and the silence to be able to access that. So to come, to be able to come and be part of um, a community of people who've consciously chosen to um, focus on that aspect of being human beings, to spend big portions of their life consciously entering that vertical shaft and going down into that quiet and peace and solitude to see what's in there, um, that just opened all kinds of things up for me. It validated something that outside of this place always made me feel like an oddball or a misfit or, you know, overly sensitive or couldn't take too much stimulation. That's not it at all. It's, your job as a writer is to go to that place, but we don't live in the kind of world that um, honors that very much. And so I think that's why a lot of artists have found a home here. You know, I think it's, they, they know that. And they also, they're very wonderful here about um, just allowing people to be and protecting their privacy while they're here and, and giving them the, the time and the space to do what they're trying to do. So.